Hello. In this lesson we're going to talk about intersections of lines and planes. There are three distinct situations that we can encounter. So let's start with the first situation where this plane Pi1 is intersected by the line L1 at the point P. This is a very common relation between a line and a plane. The line intersects the plane at one point P. If you analyze a situation such as this in an algebraic form not so much uh, on a diagram, then your plane is going to be described by an equation such as ax plus by plus cz equals d, while the line L1 could be described by uh, its parametric equations such as x equals x0 plus tm1, y equals y0 plus tm2, z equals z0 plus tm3, x0, y0 and z0 being any point on that line L1 point that you know and uh, m1, m2, m3 are the components of the direction vector for this line. So if you have these um, equations you can very easily verify if uh, they have any point in common by replacing in the equation of the plane all these variables x, y and z with their uh, expressions from the parametric equations of the line. So you're gonna have a instead of x I'm going to use x0 plus tm1 and continue the same way plus b times y0 plus tm2 plus c times z0 plus tm3 equals to d. And you can uh, determine from here this parameter t for which in this case you're going to determine that it has only one solution. So t equals any real number. Well that is exactly what you need to determine the coordinates of this point p. That's one way to approach uh, this situation in which a line intersects a plane in one point. Another situation that you may encounter is when the line lies on the plane. In this case we're gonna have infinitely many solutions because as you can imagine any point on that line it's also a point in the plane. Algebraically speaking you're gonna determine that parameter t in a form such as uh, 0 t equals 0. So basically any point, any value for that uh, parameter t is going to satisfy the equation. Therefore, you have an infinity of solutions for it. The only other type of uh, relation between a line and a plane is when the line is parallel to the plane. And of course, in this case, there is no intersection between the line and the plane. Therefore, there is no solution. Algebraically, you're going to have an expression such as uh, 0 t equals uh, 5, 7, any value. Some expression that's impossible uh, to be true ever. That's how you determine that there is no intersection point between the line and the plane. These are all possible relations between a line and a plane. But moving on one step further, as you can see in this last uh, situation, you may be uh, required to determine the distance from that line to the plane. And if this is something you need to consider, then let me give you a formula that you can apply to determine this distance. Let me consider again the same plane and the line. What we need to determine here is the distance between the line and the plane. That obviously refers to the minimum distance. I'm going to use uh, d for uh, denoting minimum distance between L1 and uh, the plane pi1. Now I can consider any point on that line, let's call that P, and any other point on the plane, Q. Now this distance between P and Q, it's not going to be the minimum, but it's something we can easily uh, determine because we can determine any point that satisfies uh, the equation of the line, it's a point on the line. The same, any point that satisfies the equation of the plane, it's a point on the plane. So we can determine any two points on the line and on the plane. And uh, in the same way we can determine the vector PQ. The minimum distance, just like I told you in the previous lesson, has to be that distance that is perpendicular on both the plane and the line. Now in this case, since the line is parallel to the plane, uh, that's basically uh, implicit because the normal to the plane is going to be perpendicular on the line as well. So all we need to determine is the normal to the plane. 
and that is really not difficult at all when we have the scalar equation of a plane as we know we, we can determine the normal by just using the coefficients a b and c to determine the normal vector to that uh, plane and um, basically that's all we needed because the minimum distance is going to be the projection of this vector pq on that normal vector so just to give you the formula as well this minimum distance d is nothing else than the magnitude of the dot product between n and uh, pq over the magnitude of n this being the regular formula for the projection of a vector on another vector so projection of pq on the vector n so this formula can be used for determining the minimum distance between a parallel line and a plane when you know any point on the line this p and uh, any point on the plane q and the normal to that plane or you can use this formula also to determine the minimum distance from any point regardless if you have a line or not and with this I'm going to conclude the lesson thanks for watching